Battle of the Brains, presented by Virginia 529, Central Virginia's ultimate high school academic quiz show. Today's match features Maggie Walker Governor's School versus Menchville High School. Let the battle begin. Hello and welcome to Battle of the Brains, Central Virginia's longest running high school academic quiz show. I'm Cheryl Miller. Our competition welcomes teams from schools all across the Commonwealth of Virginia. The academic athletes joining us today, the Green Dragons of the Maggie Walker Governor School, coached by Adam Rochke and Drew Austin. The Maggie Walker Governor School for Government and International Studies is a public regional magnet high school in Richmond, helping students developing into lifelong learners, embracing the value of ethical leadership and diverse cultures. Its college preparatory curriculum has been recognized as being one of the most elite public schools in America. Also with us today, the Monarchs of Menchville High School, coached by Hannah Park and Brandon Trainer. Menchville High School, home of the Monarchs, is located in southeastern Virginia in the city of Newport News. Menchville strives to instill the 21st century skills and behaviors necessary to ensure students realize their full potential in school as well as in a global society. A big welcome to the students and great to have them here with us today for Battle of the Brains. Our match will consist of three toss-up rounds and a category round. Players will buzz in, wait for me to call on them, and then give their answer. Any interruption of questions with an incorrect answer will result in a point deduction. There is no deduction for an incorrect answer to a completed question. All right, students, here's the first toss-up round. Let's play Battle of the Brains. Richmond and Newport News, Virginia were settled along the banks of what river? <coughs> Timothy. James. Correct. What metal alloy consists of copper and tin? <coughs> Timothy. Brass. That is incorrect. Menchville? <coughs> Jarrett. Bronze. Bronze is correct. Yeah. Which Frenchman who painted artistic nudes in Olympia and luncheon on the grass also created a piece, a bar at the Folie Bergère? <coughs> Elizabeth. Manet. Manet is correct. Yeah, right. What author created this character's Scarlett O'Hara and Rhett Butler in her only novel? Yash. Sorry, no answer. All right, Menchville, published in 1936, this novel. and that would be Margaret Mitchell. What city known for its Tournament of Roses parade is the setting for the television series, The Big Bang Theory? <coughs> Sam. Portland. That is incorrect. Menchville. <coughs> Elizabeth. Pasadena. Pasadena, California is correct. What name is given to a unit or particle of light having no charge or mass? <coughs> Timothy. Photon. Correct, but an indefinitely long lifetime. What is the two-word phrase for the reciprocal of a real number other than zero? <coughs> Timothy. Multiplicative inverse. That is correct. Nice. Mr. Toad, Badger, Ratty, and Mole are characters in what children's novel written by Kenneth Graham? <coughs> Jarrett. Redwall. That is incorrect. Maggie Walker. <coughs> Winnie the Pooh. It would be the wind in the willows. In Greek mythology, who was the goddess of victory? <coughs> Timothy. Nike. Correct. The Bay of Pigs is located in the southern coast of what country? <coughs> Sam. Cuba. Correct. What politician and king of the wild frontier lost his life during the Battle of the Alamo? <coughs> Sam. Davy Crockett. Correct. Teams, watch the screen, listen carefully. Here's a Virginia-based video question from a member of the Battle of the Brains Brainy Bunch, and you must wait until the question is completed before buzzing in. This sculpture, Rumors of War in front of VMFA, is by which artist who painted the official presidential portrait of Barack Obama? Elizabeth. Jones. That is incorrect. Maggie Walker? <coughs> Sam? Smith. Actually, his name is Kahindi Wiley. Mm. Which word designates both an ornamental wall tablet made of metal or wood and a thin, transparent film? Yes. Plaque. That is correct, on the surface of the tooth. Mm. Someone who doesn't much care f is said to be insouciant. Spell insouciant. <coughs> Timothy. I-N-S-U-C-I-E-N-T. That is incorrect. Menchville? Elizabeth? I-N-S-U-S-C-I-E-N-T? It's I-N-S-O-U-C-I-A-N-T, insouciant. 
Between 1517 and 1525, this man's works accounted for one third of all books published in German, including his 1522 translation of the Bible. Uh, Sam. Martin Luther. Correct. You may need your pencil and paper for this one. Find two numbers whose sum is 26 and whose product is 165. Timothy. Five and 21. That is incorrect. Jarrett. 11 and 15. That is correct. What is the name of the East African people of the coast who sailed? Sam. Swahili. Correct. And that buzzer means the end of our first toss-up round. A good job by our team so far, but a lot more questions still to come. Up next, we'll meet today's players, and then they'll take on the category round here on Battle of the Brains. So stay with us, please. Battle of the Brains is always available. Find full episodes on YouTube and follow along with Battle of the Brains on social media. Welcome back to Battle of the Brains. And here are the scores following the toss-up round here on Battle of the Brains. The Maggie Walker Governor's School with 80 points. Menchville High School, 40 points. And we'll get back to our match and lots of questions just ahead. But first, we want to introduce you to today's players. First, our team from the Maggie Walker Governor's School, the Green Dragons, are coached by Adam Rachi and Drew Austin. First up is our player, Yash Saxena, who is a senior. Yash is part of the Quiz Bowl, Math, and Badminton Clubs. He participates in the Virginia Junior Academy of Science and plans to major in both physics and computer science. Next up is Rishi Naval, who is a senior. He makes YouTube videos on STEM topics, loves to play basketball, and plans to major in applied mathematics. Timothy Porter is a senior. He's the team captain for the Maggie Walker Governor's School, enjoys playing the guitar, studies political philosophy, and participates in Model UN, plans to major in mathematics. And wrapping up the team is Sam McNamee, who is a senior. He's a member of the Model UN Club, enjoys reading and playing Dungeons and Dragons, and would like to continue to study history. That is our team from the Maggie Walker Governor's School here in Richmond. Now let's meet our team from Menchville High School. The Monarchs are coached by Hannah Park and Brandon Trainer. First up is Jarrett Stevens, who is a senior. He says he admires everything fantasy, loves to play Dungeons and Dragons with his friends, enjoys studying culture, and hopes to specialize in international relations. The team captain from Menchville High School is Elizabeth McElfresh, who is a senior, enjoys crocheting in her free time. In school, she's a member of the cross country team, the track team, and Project Inclusion Club, and is also the deputy group commander for Menchville's Air Force JROTC. Our next player is Sahana Vishwanathan, who is a senior, member of the Project Inclusion, and a member of the Youth Volunteer Corps. And wrapping up our team is Sebastian Arsenault, who is a junior. He's one of the top 10 archers in Virginia, is a member of the International Thespian Society, and enjoys skateboarding. That's our team from Menchville High School. Great to have all these students here with us for Battle of the Brains. Now they're going to tackle the category round, where each team will select a 10-question category from today's choices. If a team gets all of its questions correct in the allotted time, they'll receive a 20-point bonus. All right, teams, take a look. These are the categories from which you may choose. Classic evil movie villains, ending in Y, and musical terms. And we do note that in this round, only the captains can officially answer for the team, though they may confer with their teammates to try to come up with the correct answer. By the rules, the high score team gets first choice of categories, so that is the Maggie Walker Governor's School. So Timothy, talk it over with your teammates. Let me know what category you would like to play. Ending in Y, I yeah. think. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's the best for all of us. We'll take ending in Y. All right, identify the following by giving an answer that ends with the letter Y. The first is study of religious doctrines and the relationship between God, man, and the universe. Theology. Theology, Theology is correct. Faulkner's The Sound and the What? Fury. Fury. Correct. And again, the captain must give the official answer. Manhattan Avenue, known as the Great White Way. Broadway. 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 Correct. Pen name of the author of The Gift of the Magi. Oh, Henry. Henry. Oh, Henry. Correct. Dante's most famous work. A divine comedy. D divine comedy. Divine comedy. Yeah. Correct. Composer of the Nutcracker. Tchaikovsky. 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 Correct. Secession of rulers from the same family or line. Dynasty. Dynasty. Yeah. Dynasty. That is correct. Newspaper man who found David Livingstone in Africa. Ooh. Uh, what's his name? It's. Uh, I'm, it's not coming to me. We, we have time. We we have time. We can. If you need a minute to think about it. Uh, it's. 
can't. I can't do it. I can't pass. Uh, Crosby. It would be Stanley, Henry Stanley, okay. author of The Sun Also Rises. Hemingway. Hemingway. Correct. And finally, country in which Israeli Olympic athletes were murdered September 5th, 1972. Mm -hmm. Germany. Germany. And that is correct. Uh, Good job on that category. All um, right. It's okay. Musical terms or classic evil movie villains, Menchville. Elizabeth, talk it over with your team. Let me know what you'd like to play. We'd like to do the classic evil movie villains, please. All right. Given a character, name the movie or franchise the evil character is featured in. The first is Leatherface. Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Correct. General Zod. Superman. I need you to be more specific. Man of Steel. You take the judges say they will accept Superman. Superman two specifically. Anton Chigurh. Chigur. No Country for Old Men. Low, Lord Voldemort. Harry Potter. Correct. Pennywise. It. Correct. Amon Gert. Schindler's List. Correct. Kaiser Sose. That would be the usual suspects. Buffalo Bill. The good, the bad, and the ugly. The Silence of the Lambs. Darth Vader. Star Wars. Correct. And finally, Freddy Krueger. Nightmare on Elm Street. And that is correct. Well, you know you're evil people. <laughs> good job on the category round by both of our teams. Up next, another toss-up round when Battle of the Brains continues. Miss a week of Battle of the Brains? Or want to catch up on a full season of Battle Gameplay? Find full episodes on our YouTube channel. Welcome back to Battle of the Brains. Here are the scores following the category round here on Battle of the Brains. Our team from the Maggie Walker Governor's School with 125 points. Our team from Menchville High School with 75 points. And now back to Battle of the Brains and another toss-up round. And first, a reminder to our teams, you do lose points if you interrupt a question with an incorrect answer. The other team then gets the chance to answer the question. There is no conferring in the toss-up rounds. All right, teams, here we go. Who was the first martyr of Christianity? Timothy. Jesus. That is incorrect. Menchville. Jarrett. Peter. It was St. Stephen. King Lear is an example of which type of play by William Shakespeare? Jarrett. Tragedy. Tragedy is correct. The cartoon Total Drama Island is a parody of what long-running television program? Sam. Survivor. Correct. In 1953, Ian Fleming publishes Casino Royale, the first novel to feature Timothy. James Bond. Correct. Which British agent? 007. In Greek mythology, what stables did Hercules have to clean as part of his 12 labors? Uh, staples yes. of Aegeus. I staples of Aegeus. Yes, that is correct. Passing away in July of 2022, actress Nichelle Nichols was famous for portraying which groundbreaking Star Trek character on the original TV show? Garrett. Ohura. That is correct. Explorer Robert E. Perry, recognized as the discoverer of the North Pole, reached that destination in 1909 with the considerable aid of what celebrated African-American adventurer? That would be Matthew Henson. The United States Naval Academy is located in which state capital? Sam. Annapolis. Correct. You may need your pencil and paper for this one. What is the value of the cube root of x to the sixth if x equals two? Yush. Or. Correct. In baseball, what player warms up in the bullpen? Elizabeth. The pitcher. That's correct. French sculptor Frédéric Auguste Bartholdi is best known in the United States as the designer of what? Rishi. Statue of Liberty. Correct. American landmark. How many donuts are there in a baker's dozen? Sebastian. 13. Correct. All right, teams, watch the screen. Listen carefully. Here is a Virginia-based video question from a member of the Battle of the Brains Brainy Bunch. And wait until the question is completed before buzzing in. 
visiting the Virginia Museum of Transportation here in Roanoke, Virginia. In 1973, Gladys Knight and the Pips had a massive hit singing about taking a midnight train to this state. Sebastian. Georgia. Correct. This author wrote of his wish to fling my arms wide in some place of the sun in the poem Dream Variations. He noted that he was born in Winston-Salem in the poem theme for English B. Rishi. Langston Hughes. Correct. It is a system of two sets of lines used to find the location of any place on the surface of the planet. Jarrett. Coordinates. That is incorrect. One line runs east to west, the other runs north to south. Name both lines. Rishi. Latitude and longitude. That is correct. The problem of producing hydroelectric power was solved by Nikola Tesla in 1877 in what North American community near Buffalo, New York? Sam. Niagara. Need you to be more specific. Niagara Falls. That is correct. Nice. <laughs> That's the name of the city. By what more familiar name is the ancient Chinese philosopher Kung Fu Tzu better known? Timothy. Confucius. Correct. What is another name for the U.S. National Railroad Passenger Corporation? Sam. Amtrak. Correct. Campeche, Tabasco, and Durango are states located... Sam. Mexico. Correct. Breath mints may be needed. It means bad breath. Spell... H-A-L-I-T-O-S-I-S. -S. Halitosis, that is correct. <laughs> And that buzzer means one more toss-up round just ahead and will double the point value. Stay tuned to see which of our teams is today's winner and moving on to the next round here on Battle of the Brains. Love Battle of the Brains? Ready for your high school team to play next season? Get in touch. Go to battleofthebrains.net to learn more. Welcome back to Battle of the Brains. Here are the scores as we head now into the final round here on Battle of the Brains. Our Maggie Walker Governor's School team with 245 points. Our team from Menchville High School with 125 points. And for this final toss-up round, the point score for a correct answer is doubled, but so is the penalty for an incorrect answer before I finish the question. There is no deduction for an incorrect answer to a completed question. All right, teams, good luck. This is our final toss-up round. It is the largest subtropical wilderness in the United States and the third largest park in the lower 48. Dedicated by Harry Truman in 1947, named this first national park to be set aside for its biologic uniqueness. Rishi. Everglades. That is correct. What crime-fighting superhero team features Starfire, Raven, Gosh. Teen Titans. Correct. And Beast Boy. Can't forget him. Teapot Dome, a geological feature associated with the infamous Teapot Dome scandal of 1922, is located in which western state? T Sam. Nevada. That is incorrect. Menchville? Elizabeth? Arizona. It's actually Wyoming. What five-letter word can mean either a spicy dip for chips or a dance? Rishi. Salsa. Correct. James Watson and Francis Crick postulated that two strands of poly... Rishi. DNA. That is incorrect. Two strands of polynucleotides coil around each other, forming what? Sebastian. A double helix. That is correct. You may need your pencil and paper. What is the integral of the expression 3y squared plus 2y plus 6? Timothy y cubed plus y squared plus 6y plus a constant? That is correct. Nice. King Zog the first deposed in 1939. <coughs> Timothy. Albania. Correct. Tweed, as in Harris Tweed, is a cloth woven from what material? <coughs> Rishi. Silk. That is incorrect. Menchville? Sebastian? Um, twigs. It's actually made from wool. What is the term for the vapor collected and condensed in, from a distillation? Sahana. Condensation. That is incorrect. Maggie Walker? Timothy? A distillate. That is correct. In math, what is another name for a circle chart? Sebastian. A pie graph. That is, that is correct. We will accept that. Or pie chart. In 1967, which current defending National Football League championship team lost the league's first Super Bowl game to the Green Bay Packers? Jarrett. Pass. 
Maggie Walker, Timothy? The Chiefs. Kansas City Chiefs, right. yes. Name the field that protects the planet from harmful cosmic radiation. Uh, the geomagnetic yes. field. That is correct, or Earth's magnetic field. The city and seaport of Singapore are located on what island? <laughs> Sam. Singapore Island. Correct. <laughs> Alleyphobia results from a fear of ingesting or eating what vegetable that is said to ward off vampires? Yes. Garlic. Correct. As a strong symbol, what color is the ribbon used for breast cancer awareness? Timothy. Pink. Correct. What unique type of number is found between the squares of any two consecutive integers? Rishi. Prime. Correct. What event in the life of Muhammad marks the beginning of the Muslim calendar? Sam. Hijra? The Hijra is correct. He was selected in 1957 by a Senate committee as one of the five greatest senators of all time. Name this man who served as vice president under both John Quincy Adams and Andrew Jackson. <coughs> Sam. John Calhoun. Correct. Always six and a half weeks before Easter, what name is given to the day of the start of Lent? <coughs> Elizabeth. Good Friday. That is incorrect. Maggie Walker. <coughs> Sam. Ash Wednesday. That is correct. In 1644, this group claimed the mandate of heaven by conquering the Ming Dynasty. Sam? Uh, the uh, Manchu? Correct. And that buzzer is the end of our game. While our judges double check the final score, here's a reminder for you on how to stay connected with us here at Battle of the Brains. Stay up to date with Battle of the Brains. Follow along as your favorite teams advance this season. Visit battleofthebrains.net to learn more. And follow the show on social at Battle of the Brains. As we continue round one in this current season of Battle of the Brains, join us next week as we welcome Douglas Freeman High School versus Fort Defiance High School. And now here's the final score for today's match, determining which of our teams will continue on to round two in this season's competition. Ending the match with a final score of 165 points, our team from Menchville High School. Great job today by Sebastian, Sahana, Elizabeth, and Jarrett. Our winners today, congratulations with a final score of 545 points. Our team from the Maggie Walker Governor's School, Yash, Rishi, Timothy, and Sam. And we will see you gentlemen in the next round. Congratulations. I'm Cheryl Miller. Thank you for watching and playing along here on Battle of the Brains. And we'll see you back here next week. Great match, teams. Game over. Thank you for watching Battle of the Brains, presented by Virginia 529. Goodbye.